If you're watching this video right now, I want you to consider yourself very, very lucky. Not many people are going to stumble upon this. You can watch this video or you can, you know, you can just go back to TikTok and play with your, your, your scrolling, your infinite doom scroll that literally has been ruining your life for years, but you're going to doom scroll anyway. You can go back to that or you can listen. I'm going to be giving you the, the, the system I use that literally got me from fucking like horrendously skinny fat to jacked. I'm going to give you the system that got me from literally like be on my discord asking for people to use my DoorDash referral code so I could eat because of how fucking broke I am to the point I am right now, to the point I am right now where I can literally like set my parents free back home, pay for the rent and everything. And I'm 18 years old, by the way, I'm not like some highly experienced 30 year old. No, no, I'm fucking 18. I'm not intelligent. I'm not the superior. Man. I'm going to give you the system that got me from this point to that point. Bro, if I told you my income right now, you wouldn't even believe it. You'd look at me and say, oh yeah, this guy's a fucking liar. Thank you, I'm not, go fuck yourself. Bro, if I told you my income, you wouldn't even believe my income. That system that got me from skinny to horrendously jacked, broke to a good level, and it got me from like wanting, <laughs> I'm not gonna say the word, bro, I'll get like shut down. Wanting to go bang, like wanting to delete myself to having the best mental health of my entire fucking life. I'm going to be giving you that system right here, right now. And this is something that many people are just going to click. You can click off right now, bro. But it's fine. I'm chilling. You can go back to your TikTok. But this system will save many lives. And I also want to commend you for watching these types of videos, bro. If you're still, bro, if you're still here right now, you have more attention span than 90% of people who would have already clicked off. That's how fucked people's attention span. Holy shit, bro. Yeah, I'm going to be in that car one day. Point is, most people's... See, I just fucking... Like, my attention span got stolen. Most people's attention spans are in the fucking bin. They're in the bin. So I want to commend you right now for still sticking around. This winter is going to be yours. There are two paths you can take. You can take the paths that... The path that the normal people take. And we know this, bro. We know you're... Like, we know what path you're going to take. The path that normal people take during this winter. Where it's like, oh, bro, it's just, you know, it's another winter. Let me just, you know, stay home. Go party whenever I can. Go, you know, drink. Stay, like, get fatter. Just jack off more and more and more. Do nothing with myself. But hey, I mean, I guess we're having fun. We live for the weekend, right? We live for the weekend. You can take the path that normal people take, the mediocre path, you know, the path that everybody says is the, you know, the right path. Just do the classic things, you know, don't even, don't work out because working out is for losing. Exercise is gay, bro. Don't go to the gym. We can, we can take that path or we can take the path that I'm going to show you today. The path that got me from, just to put it simply, point A to point B. This winter arc will be the mo the biggest transformation of your entire fucking life. I guarantee if you follow this system that I'm going to show you, it will be the biggest fucking transformation of your life. The people that, like, you look around and you see your, your friends, right? In six months, they're going to be worse. They're going to be worse off. You're going to be up here. You're going to fucking climb. You're going to rise. You're going to leave those people in the dust. You know why? Because you're putting your future self ahead of you. The six, the guy six months ahead of you, yourself who's six months ahead of you is gonna thank you so fucking much for watching this video he's gonna be so grateful but your your friends they're gonna continue smoking weed they're gonna continue drinking they're gonna continue doing the normal shit right they're gonna continue doing the the classic hey bro you know let's uh let's just <laughs> let's just go play video games let's work on nothing no winter arc <laughs> no working on myself you realize how little people, if you watch this video, I commend you, you realize how little people like actually improve themselves. They don't care about self-improvement. They don't care about that shit. So I fucking commend you, bro. I genuinely commend you. Good man. Now, I want you to grab a pen and a piece of paper. You can pause this video right now. Grab a pen and a piece of paper and grab your phone. What you're going to do is you're going to write a, a journaling session, a journaling prompt of where you are currently right now, your mental state, your finances, your physique, like write down everything, how you feel about your life currently today, because we're going to come back six months from now. And I also want you to take a few pictures of yourself in um, in your like bathroom mirror, take a picture of your like physique, if you really go hit like a double bicep, go hit like a, a back double bicep, check, like, check your quads and everything most muscular pose go pose in the in the in the bathroom go take a video take some pictures because six months from now you will be a completely different fucking specimen of a human being do you understand you should be getting hyped 
genuinely you should be getting hyped a completely different special bro you want women women will actually look at you six months from now you want money get ready for this video because it's gonna fucking bang this system will make you a machine but there's a caveat there's a caveat there's a catch and the fact the catch is that most people won't be able to do it most people won't be able to do it. Most people won't be able to just shut the fuck up for six months and work on themselves. It's true, but you're not most people, are you? If you're still watching, you're not most people, are you? Most people clicked off and went back to Mr. Beast, but you're not most people. So I'm gonna be giving you the system and the system is called the Triple M system. This system got me everything I have today. It got me everything. Whatever you see in front of you, Bro, I looked like a goblin. I went, <laughs> I went through a bunch of shit. I look much better now. I was broke. I'm not broke anymore. I was skinny fat. I'm not, I'm not skinny fat anymore. I was lonely. I'm not lonely anymore. I went through a lot of fucking shit to get to this point, and this triple M system carried the fuck out of me, and I'm giving it to you today, bro. Remember to drink water with me throughout this video. So now you might be wondering, what is this triple M system you're talking about? And we'll get into it more. The first, and um, if you master all of these, I promise you, you will literally become Zeus. <laughs> You'll literally become Zeus. So let's talk about the first M. Okay, this winter, you're gonna be working on these three M's and you're gonna skyrocket them. We're gonna talk about the first M and most people who are still watching, they're gonna see this and they're gonna get bored. It gets more interesting later down the line, but they're gonna see this and they're gonna be like, oh bro, it's just one of those classic. That's fine. I'm gonna filter out the fuckers who are just gonna click off for now. Your first M is mind. Listen, your mind is the foundation of everything. You are the control center, your mind, your brain. So when you expect to like, oh, make some progress in the gym or make some progress with, with you know, your finances or anything, or go speak to that girl, you can't do it if your mental health is fucking dog shit. During the COVID, the, the, the Shmovid, <laughs> demonetized, during the Shmovid lockdown, bro. I was, f bro, I wanted to go, it always like it always hurts me speaking about this topic, but I would literally look outside my window because of how locked up I was. I was locked up for nine months. My family was severe germaphobes, right? We couldn't leave our house. I had shit here. I couldn't get a haircut. We would wear masks inside our house and I would look outside my window wondering if it was worth it to jump. And this is the dark part where it comes in. The only thing that stopped me was the fear of, you know how some people say you die midway through the fall? I was scared that wasn't true. Because when you jump from like, well, like hypothetically, someone jumps from like a 15 story building, right? Some people say you die from like the shock midway through the fall. And I was so hopeful, like I hoped that was the truth, but I was too scared. I was too fucking scared. I didn't do it. I'm, I'm so, like, I'm so thankful I didn't do it, right? But I would, I would think like, would it hurt if I did it? Would I die midway through the fall? Or would I have to face like the, the impending doom of smacking the ground and like my lungs collapsing and not being able to breathe and suffering and like agonizing pain for two minutes? This, the mind got me from that point to the best mental health of my fucking life, bro. So you're gonna work on your mind this winter. I'm gonna go through the classics at the beginning. Everyone knows this. You're gonna start meditating. Go download an app called Medito. Simple. Download that app, meditate every single day. Bro, if you can meditate for one minute, that's good. One minute today, if you've never if you've never meditated before, it literally clears your mind, it clears your soul, bro, purifies your mind of those anxious thoughts. If I was meditating back in the in the you know the lockdown, I would not have those thoughts. I would not have those thoughts of like, should I do it or not? I would not have those fucking thoughts. It's so simple, bro. And I'm gonna like meditate for 10 seconds for you. I'll explain the process so you can kind of understand, but Medito explains it very well. Just download that app, it's fucking phenomenal. It's free and everything, bro. The way meditation works is you you focus on one thing and it's usually the breath, right? And you know how you get thoughts? You are not. You don't try and like, you know, throw away the thoughts. You just try and focus on one thing, which is most time like most often your breath i'll show you like a, a little cycle a framework of how meditation works just so you can like you can kind of understand but let me walk you through the process so you sit down and you simply just focus on your breath
and then you're going to get a thought and then you're going to realize like you're going to get lost in thought right and you get lost in thought that's step one is focusing on the breath and then you get lost in thought but you don't realize you're lost in thought and then step three that was step two you get lost in thought step three is you realize you're lost in thought and then step four is you return to the breath the this cycle every single time you you know you 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 get back into the feeling of like okay I, i'm thinking of random shit let me get back and focus on the breath this cycle is like one little squat for the brain it's very powerful now i, I just like summarize meditation for you because this is going to be a very long video if i don't you know go through everything quickly but trust me bro download medito and it will cure so much of your fucking anxiety so much of it and the next thing you want to do is daily journaling i'm going to show you I'm going to show you a page of one of my journaling prompts that started my YouTube channel. So the day I wrote this, the day I wrote this, this whole like prompt, it was two pages. It was December 16th, 2022. December 16th, you can literally like, I don't know if you can, you can see it literally just says December 16th, right? And by the end of this whole journaling prompt, I'm going to like, it's whole fucking paragraph, right? But by the end of this December 16th, you see this? It says YouTube over here. It says YouTube over here. The thing that started, and this is fucking inspirational as shit, bro. The thing that started everything for me was literally just journaling down and like creating the flow of ideas. Now, the thing that most people don't realize, oh, bro, journaling because, you know, it's, it's good for you. The reason you journal is it because it's like creates the, the, the creative juices. It gets them going. Those juices in your mind was like, hmm, I don't have, would this idea work? Would this idea work? No, no, it wouldn't work. Journaling fixes that for you. It rationalizes everything for you. You just vomit your thoughts down. I've made journaling videos before. You can go watch them after this one. But journaling, it, it creates those ideas for you and it makes them like in this tangible form. If you have this idea that floats around, and many of you may have experienced this like many times as well, right? You have this idea that floats around and you don't know if it's a good idea. You don't know. You can't really put it into words. Sit down and fucking journaling about it, you maggot. Sit down and journal about it and maybe, maybe, just maybe, that's the one thing that will change your life forever. For me, it was YouTube. For me, it was YouTube. And it changed my life forever, as you can, like, as you can see. Changed my life forever. That one thing, that one fucking session where I sat down in my crusty dorm room in a cold winter night. In a cold winter night and I journaled and I didn't know what the fuck to do and I, what did I do? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I want to start a business, I want to start something. And it was YouTube. It was YouTube. And now here I am. This is how powerful journaling is. Now this is one thing, and I will have to admit this to you. I'm going to struggle with this as well because I'm gonna be like redoing the Triple M system. It's retention and specifically semen retention. The thing is with this, obviously like, you know, I'm self-improving YouTuber. I can be fapping and everything, I can be jacking up. But I was always, addicted to just two things it was either video games or you know as, as you know if you if you're close to me bro you know this ejaculation or video games i've gotten rid of the video game addiction the thing is i don't fap anymore i don't like jack off or anything but i sleep with women and i don't say this to like ah bro i have a problem right i haven't completely like beat this this well, it's not really, and it, it could be, I mean, it could be. I could literally just call it like a fucking sex addiction, right? But the thing is, I've never really done like retention for more than a month. I've never done retention for, the, for more than a month. I've always just been either like jacking off or sleeping with women. You know, and I obviously like I've, I've beat the, the fapping addiction a long time ago. So it's just been, it's just been like me sleeping with women. I can't be doing that shit anymore. There's a multitude of reasons for it, but I can't be doing that shit anymore, especially during this like winter arc where retention will make you a machine. Semen retention will literally make you a fucking machine. And the thing is, it will literally start like desexualizing your brain. And you know how important this is, bro. You, you already know how important ha not having like a fucking filthy brain is for you. So you're going to get on retention, bro, and you're going to fuck up. But the point is you're making progress, right? You will fuck up. Don't like... You know, don't, don't get fucking suicidal once you, you know, uh, just bust one. It's fine, but you're making progress. 
But the thing you, you have to be aware of is no fucking porn. We're done with that shit. Any addictions, and this is one thing as well, any addictions you have, you're going to either completely eliminate them du during this winter arc or make like tremendous progress during um, during this winter arc. You're not going to fucking go, oh, bro, uh, I'm still addicted to it. I'm telling you, by the end of these six months, you're going to be a completely different fucking person. So if you're addicted to ejaculation, if you're addicted to porn, if you're addicted to weed, if you're addicted to alcohol, if you're, if you're addicted to nicotine, if you're addicted to vaping, you fucking idiot. How could you be addicted to... Oh, man. <laughs> Breathe air. <laughs> if you're addicted to anything, you're going to get rid of it by the end of this winter arc. This is where you fucking tunnel vision and become a different human. This winter arc, bro. I promise you every single pain in your life can be solved by just shutting the fuck up for six months. So retention, stay on retention, it makes you a machine and it's going to make your gains stronger in the gym, which we'll talk about later. It's going to make so many things like more powerful. You become this super saiyan. I don't want to sound like one of those stupid nofap YouTuber losers, bro, but you actually become like primarily stronger because what your brain says, like kind of bro science here, right? Your brain thinks, okay, this guy is not sleeping with him. This guy is not, he's not fulfilling the one mission he was put on this earth to, you know, to fulfill. And it's reproduction. He's not fulfilling that one mission. He was put on this earth to fucking reproduce and he's not fulfilling it. The one primal goal he has and he just can't. What the fuck is that, bro? Think about it, the one thing your brain has like trying to get you to do because it's your mission as a, as a man, it's your mission to just reproduce and spread your seed. Like we're just thinking pure biology here, right? This is pure primal caveman biology shit. What is your one goal, your one mission? It's reproduction. And you're telling your body right now, you're telling your brain, we can't achieve that. We're not good enough yet. So what does your brain do? It pumps you with testosterone. It pumps you with like fuel. It pumps you with ambition. That's why you notice like, Seven days into like, you know, if I'm stupid and everything, you feel so much more like, <laughs> like aggressive. Like you want to go out there and grab shit by the balls and you want to like conquer things. And then you're not. And it's like, oh, it's gone, bro. I'm chilling. You notice this as well. Many of you, many of you will relate to this. And then you lose the streak because you just get too aggressive. But you have to learn to control that. You know, these bo like boxers, they go on retention for months before their fight. Months they go on retention. They don't. They don't nut. They don't. Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, both of them did this. No fucking nothing. No nothing. None of that. They become monsters. Monsters. So use that to your advantage. Next thing we're going to talk about is less technology. Pretty self-explanatory. Less fucking doom scrolling. Okay, less doom scrolling. You monkey. Oh 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 oh! Doom scrolling. Oh new TikTok. Fuck's wrong with you, bro? Come on. You're better than that. You're better than that. Don't be like all the other normies. Just what do the normies do? They literally just work, do whatever they fuck they do outside. They come back home onto the bed and just doom scroll. Don't be like that, bro. Reduce your time. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to explain how deep fucking TikTok ruins your attention span because those guys are already gone, right? They're, they're gone. Imagine that the guys who are on TikTok, they're back on TikTok. They watch the video for 30 seconds and then they're gone because they're used to TikTok being 10 seconds long, 20 seconds long. They're gone. I can't help those people, but you're not. You're still here. I'm not going to explain. You already know how bad that shit is for you, right? They're gone. You already know how bad that shit Just reduce your fucking, your technology, right? So, like, even with my videos, bro, even with my videos, you're on a fucking winter arc. If you find something that's genuinely valuable, watch it. But if you, if you want to, oh, bro, it's an Ali video. Don't watch it, man. I'm going to get less views by saying this, but I don't care. I'm here to fucking help you, bro. I'm here to fucking help you. If you see something that's truly valuable, go ahead, watch it. 
But if you just see like, oh, Ali's a new video, bro. I'm gonna get less views, less money, whatever. I don't fucking care. I'm trying to help you see like the, the this winter arc, man, is gonna be so, I'm actually excited for you. This is gonna be very fucking powerful. So less technology. And the other thing is you're gonna go outside at least once daily. You're gonna go outside. I've spoken about this on the channel before. No more of this caving yourself like a goblin. Staying in your house the whole day. Some people do this. It's horrible. Bro, when I, like, I was on massive grinds. And this is one thing that I that I realized was so stupid. During the summer when I grew my channel from 500 subscribers to 50,000. I wouldn't leave my house for, for weeks at a time. Literal weeks. I'd, like, do some push-ups here and then, you know, do some shit there. But I'd just be focusing on this thing. On, on the on the channel. It was horrible for me. My mental health fucking plummeted. All I was doing was literally just working on two things. And yes, tunnel vision, but go outside at least once a day. All I was doing was boxing, YouTube, boxing, YouTube, boxing, YouTube, boxing, YouTube. That's it. That was my entire life. Boxing, YouTube, boxing, YouTube. Bo that was it. That was everything. That was my entire fucking life. And yes, here and there occasion, you know, I'd do some fucking shit. But... 99% of the time, just boxing YouTube, boxing YouTube, boxing YouTube, boxing. That's it. And my mental health fucking dropped like a, like a, like, <laughs> like an anvil in Minecraft, bro. Holy fuck. I felt like shit. So you have one simple task to do. One simple task. And that's just leave your house at least once daily. If it's to take a walk, if it's to go get groceries, if it's literally to just breathe, to like, Open your nostrils and sniff the air that God has created for you. That's fine. Just leave your house once daily. So that was the mind section of the triple M system. We're going to talk about the next M, which is matter. Now, what, what do you mean matter? Matter is the physical form of you. The physical, like the physical, you know, realm and, and, and like things you can actually feel and do and touch. Things that are tangible. And so what is the first thing you thought of when I did this? Your body. Your body is the vessel in which your mind resides. How the fuck do you expect the mind and matter go hand in hand, by the way? These two are like yin and yang. How the fuck do you expect to have a good mind if you don't even have a good body? If you're obese and you're fat and you have like horrible confidence and you have acne and you have like whatever it is, right? And you feel like shit because your body, the vessel in which your mind resides is shit. It's a fucking shit house. It's a shit house. If you're trying to get like a hypothetically, right? Because I know you're a fucking loser. <laughs> if you're like trying to get a girl to your place, to your room, are you going to leave that room like a mess with like piss stains on the floor and jizz stains on the roof and shit stains on the, on the, on the walls? No, you're not. Fuck no. You're going to clean that shit up. You're going to like make it nice and, and clean and classy and tidy. So why the fuck do you allow your brain to live in such a shit vessel? Your brain right now, your mind is, is like the girl that you're inviting over to your place, which is your body. Visualize it like this. That's the analogy I'm giving for you. Why do you allow your body to become such shit? We can't have that. We're going to get you jacked. So get into a weightlifting routine and start building like an aesthetic V taper, bro. Start building an aesthetic V taper. None of this, you know fat skinny fat shit anymore man how the fuck are you gonna do that stop like you need to start having respect for yourself man honestly fuck's wrong with you bro you should be ashamed of if you look in the mirror right now and you're not happy with your body you should feel ashamed of yourself but you know why you should like that's a good thing that you feel ashamed of yourself because the others the guys who are drinking multiple times a week the guys who are fucking around the guys who are doing nothing with their lives the guys who are on tiktok all day the guys who don't go to the gym the guys who do that the normal guys they look at their body and say, oh, it's okay, bro. Body positivity. I'll die 30 years before you do, but body positivity. Yay. You fucking monkey. So look in the mirror and feel ashamed. You're going to start improving that. So get into a weightlifting routine. The next thing for matter is you're going to learn a martial art. Now, listen, I don't care if this is boxing i don't care if this is wrestling i don't care if this is tai chi well actually don't do that <laughs> but my recommendations boxing wrestling jujitsu muay thai kickboxing either one of those five they're all fucking great just learn an art learn one of them i'm learning boxing i think it's fucking great i think the best two out of those 
and obviously like I come from a point of bias, right? I think the best two are boxing and wrestling. That's my plan. I'm gonna master a striking art, which is boxing, most applicable in like defensive technique, like the street and shit. Most applicable for defensive techniques and learning how to fight, just boxing. Because you're not gonna be, like be kicking people in the street, right? With your with your jeans and your winter boots, you're not gonna be doing that, right? So boxing is is the most applicable and practical one for me. And wrestling. I haven't started this one yet. I'm mastering boxing first, and then I will begin the the grappling art. Grappling because like these are the two components of fighting. Striking and what, what else can you do? You're either gonna like be punching the guy or you're gonna be tussling with the guy. There's there's no in between. So it's either striking or grappling. You master one of these arts for now. Again, I recommend boxing because that's like I come from a point of bias. If you like Muay Thai more than that, by all means, go ahead. If you like fucking Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, by all means, go ahead. The point is you go learn a martial art and you go fight some dickheads. <laughs> well, you don't fight like you spar them, right? That's the point. So learn a martial art. The amount of guys I just see, like, they can't fucking take care of their, of their, of their women, of their, well, of their woman, of their girl, of their family. Imagine, like, you're, you and your, like, say you're living in a dangerous town or anything, and God forbid, you're walking with your mom and some guy like just steals her purse. The fuck are you gonna do? You're standing in like a truck. Who, 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 who? Fuck's wrong with you? Nah, man, go chase that fucker and go clobber him. But you probably won't be able to do that because if he's a robber, he's, he's a more experienced fighter than you do. So you're gonna stand there like a chump. Oh, I'm scared. Of and your mom's gonna lose respect for you. Your wife or whoever, you know, your girl is gonna lose respect for you. She'll literally be 100 times less attracted to you. And now she's gonna start thinking about Chad, <laughs> right? So you have to learn how to fight, bro, okay? At least fucking like the most basic thing, which is anything, man, anything. Go to a fucking like, learn at home if you can go to like a, a boxing club or you know, a wrestling club or gym, whatever. Learn at home, just learn the basics. There's a few other skills you can learn, um, you know, like you could learn an instrument, learn something that's kind of fun to you, man. You know, you could learn something that's kind of fun to you. For example, I've been, you know, playing the piano. Takes me back, bro. Fucking love that shit, right? Um, very enjoyable. So, learn a little skill. This is like a little side quest of the of the matter part. Learn a skill. Learn a like a tangible skill. Learn to drive. If you're young, you're 17, 18, 16. Go learn to drive, bro. Go learn with your dad. Go learn with like some driving instructor. Whatever it is, just go learn to drive. Simple. What are like anything? Just learn something, learn a skill you can use in your day-to-day -day life, learn to cook. I'm giving you like a few ideas, there's many things you can do. Learn to cook, learn to drive, learn an instrument, learn learn how to draw, whatever it is, man. Something to spice your life up, right? Like if I, if I brought you into my house and I started playing piano in front of you, you would drop your pants for me. See what I'm getting at here? <laughs> so just learn something you can use in your day-to-day -day life. The third M, and it's money. Listen, a lot of people say, you can't be happy if you're, uh, what's, what's the saying? Money doesn't make you happy. Money doesn't buy happiness or whatever. Bullshit. Bull fucking shit. 
I'm not saying you can go buy happiness at the store, but you know what money buys you? It buys you opportunities, it buys you chances, and it buys you options. It buys you fucking options, and it buys you the most important out of all. It buys you security. It buys you fucking security, so you don't have to worry about being like broken and you don't know what to eat. You don't have to worry about... It just buys you fucking security. You feel safe. It buys you safety. It buys you freedom. That's what it fucking buys you. So when these dickheads go, oh, money doesn't buy your happiness, bro. Oh. Fuck you, bro. Fuck you. <laughs> money buys you a lot of fucking shit and the most important is freedom and security. That's what money gets you. So you're going to start working on something. You're going to be in winter. So I don't recommend you go, like, you know... You could do this, you know, if you're hardcore. But the meta right now, what's popping off, what's really doing well nowadays is obviously online businesses. Online businesses where, you know, you can stay home, you can work completely remotely. Like for me, for example, it's the best, like I've literally done the best online business possible. It's foolproof. Grow, grow an audience, sell them shit. Foolproof. I'm never going to die out because the audience is just going to, like, they know me, Right. I make whatever videos I want, people will still watch. And I'm growing and growing and growing. Like, it's it's a foolproof business. Now, you can think of your own. Perhaps you could learn trading. Perhaps you could learn crypto. Perhaps you could learn SMMA. Perhaps you could learn... I don't like SMMA. Perhaps you could learn dropshipping. I don't like dropshipping. Whatever these things are, learn something that's online. It's an online endeavor, online drum. You can do it literally just from your phone, from your laptop, from your PC, whatever. You don't need fucking, you don't need to go outside and buy inventory and buy stock and make sure the fulfillment company, you know, is able to go through like the shipments and then you buy a license and then you buy a certificate. What the fuck? No, no, no. Go an audience, sell them something. That's one thing, right? Again, you could do many things. You could learn trading. People became... Billionaires through trading. If you're going down that route, you could go, you know, get funded by by like a um, by by a prop firm. This is like some deep shit that I'm not going to be talking about in this video. But there's many ways you could like go and, and make some fucking money online. I promise you, you just need a mindset shift when it comes to making money online. There are a million ways to make a million dollars. Take away my YouTube channel tomorrow. Take away my courses, take away my coaching, take away everything I have tomorrow and you will see me come back up three months from now with something completely different. There are a million ways to make a million dollars online. The world of entrepreneurship is a fucking <laughs> beautiful one, bro. It's absolutely beautiful. So when people say, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should do this business route or this business route. Think of what you want to like solve. Think of the problems you actually like feel like solving. I enjoy solving your problems. I enjoy speaking to you. I enjoy like creating products. I enjoy taking people from point A to point B. I enjoy fucking saving lives. That's what I enjoy doing. So this is the most fulfilling shit for me. Now what, maybe you don't really want to be in front of a camera. Maybe you don't like, no, that'd be, you know, eventually if you want to like make like millions, you're going to need influence. But say you don't want to start with that right now. You could like learn the problems of being a coder. Maybe you like coding and doing that. Maybe you could be a programmer. Maybe you could, you know, learn trading, learn crypto. Maybe you want to be like a, uh, an affiliate marketer. You want to market somewhere else. All of these businesses can make you millions. All of them. But what do you want to solve? What are, like, what is the problem you want to solve? Think right now. Write in the journaling session you're, you're going to write today, right? Whatever it is. Think right now. What actually do you want to solve? What are the problems you feel like, hmm, I would enjoy solving that. Because all of these realms, everything, it'll make you money. It'll all make you money, bro. It's not about the money. And especially when it comes to like business, like bro, a level one businessman makes 10K a month, right? Level one, okay? Mm -hmm. So find the problem you want to solve and start working today on a business that, you know, that does that for you. If you want to, and I genuinely think like this is the best thing you could ever fucking do. This is like the, the thing that will like guarantee you success the fastest way. If you just want to make money like as fast as possible, you don't really like think about, oh, bro, uh, working about, you know, this way or this way or that way or this way. If you just want to make money as fast as possible, the most basic like thing I can tell you is just grow an audience on on any like platform, right? But YouTube is the best. Grow an audience on any fucking platform and literally just sell them something. Literally just sell them something. This is the fastest way to like blow up your business. 
it's the fastest it's the most guaranteed and a lot of like the video gamers know what this means meta like the best meta means most effective strategy most effective tactics available the meta nowadays is simply just growing an audience and selling them something and you don't need a huge audience all you need is 500 subscribers like 500 follow whatever it is 500 loyal people imagine if you get a hundred people to literally just pay you a hundred a month <laughs> that's 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 think i want a hundred people isn't much 65,000 subscribers I have. If I can get a hundred of them and the 65,000 I have, right? Like as of currently, the 65,000, if I can get a hundred of them, which obviously I have, <laughs> if I can just only get a hundred of them to pay me a hundred a month or just maybe, maybe 300, right? A one-time payment. If I can get that a hundred, that's 30 fucking thousand dollars. 100 people to pay me $300 at 30 fucking thousand dollars. Make a product and sell it. You don't understand how easy it is with this like uh, like growing an audience and selling a product. It's so fucking easy, man. Any brain dead retard can make a fuck ton of money. And so when people say, oh, bro, I don't know what to do. How do I make money? It's so easy. It's so easy, bro. I, I know you're like, you're getting pissed. Like, no, man, I'm broke. You're lying. Please trust me, I am on your side here. It's I'm like telling you it's so easy with this enthusiastic voice so you can kind of like believe in me, man. It's fucking easy. I'm 18. I'm not like some hyper, extremely intelligent. It's so easy, man. It's genuinely so easy. If you want to like find the fastest way, and I've, I've, I've taught you exactly how to do it, click the first link in the description right now. It literally just says make money, right? If you want to find like the best way, which is what I'm talking about right now, the best way, the easiest way to make, to like get you to 10K a month. It's so fucking easy, man, right? Click the first link in the description below. It's like the most beautiful job. I explain everything there. And this is what I do, right? So just click the first link in the description if you wanna make a fuckload of money, guaranteed. You master mind, matter, money. And this is just a reminder of what you will become versus them. You know, it, it saddens me to see that 95, 99% of men don't even try to like do things for their future selves. But competition is so fucking easy nowadays, man. What What is the average person my age doing? What, like actually, what the fuck? Think, what is the average? The average 18 year old right now is edging. He's literally edging his dick to like some fucked up porn. And you might think, no, 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 that's no way. Bro, most people, like, you don't even, most people don't leave their houses, bro. Most people don't leave their houses. I don't think you understand how easy it is to dominate in today's world, to compete and destroy. And when you go through one of these, like, winter arc phases, you fucking destroy. You destroy. So you could either become like them, or you could take everything I said today to heart. And win, and dominate. Get your body in check. Get your mind in check, and get your money in check. Fuck me, man. I'm so excited for you. These people, these elites trying to fuck us over and make us weak. And oh, no, bro, stay cold because winter and disease. And fuck those people. These elites trying to control us, bro. Our brotherhood, we will fucking destroy them. We will destroy them. And it might be lonely for a bit, but fuck it. We ball after, bro. We ball genuinely. You're not normal. Again, I have to repeat this for you. You're not normal. You're weird. You're the weird, like who, who's weird nowadays? What, what defines weird? Something that's out of the ordinary. Are millionaires out of the ordinary? Yes, so millionaires are by definition weird. You're weird, I'm not calling you a millionaire yet, but you're out of the ordinary if you're watching this video. Most people don't give a fuck about their future selves, right? Most people don't fucking care. Who care? Oh bro, no, it's fine, I'll just go there. Suck my balls, bro, you're weird, right? We have a mission. We have a mission to be better for our children, for our future wives and for our families. We have a mission to grow together, to beat like this, this modernity, to become more masculine, to grow as men, to become more powerful, to become stronger, to protect, to provide, to win, to succeed in life. That's what, that's what our mission is. And I think that's one of the most noble things in the world, man. Taking care of your children and giving the people you love good lives. Giving the people you love good lives. And these six months, it might be a bit lonely, but this, like these six months will fucking propel you forward. And that's why I've created the full, like the winter arc section in our Discord. 
If you go check in our Discord right now, there's a whole new section. It's literally just dedicated to discussing this year's winter arc. This year's winter arc, it's a completely new like channel. So check our Discord right now and, and, and join it if you're interested in that. Which you probably are if you've watched... What the fuck are you doing? You've watched this far in the video, bro. Go join right now and subscribe and... and <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. Right? You're different. You're different. And I'm not just saying this to make you happy, but genuinely, most people... Most people have been scrolling on TikTok for the last 30 minutes. How fucking mad is that? Not you. Not you. So go join the Discord right now, bro. Join the Discord right now. Finish that journaling session I talked about in the beginning of the video. Take the pictures that you've you've taken. And if you want to fucking like make a shitload of money during this winter arc, bro. If that's your priority, click the first link in the description below, bro. That's it. Six months from now, you will be a completely different person. Dominating everyone you know around you. Completely destroying the competition. All it takes is six months, bro. All it takes is six months. Six months and you will destroy everyone around you. That's it. That's all it takes. So I'll see you in six months. Actually, no, I'll actually see you tomorrow. Bro. I'm uploading tomorrow. But I will see that like Super Saiyan upgraded, much better version of you in six months. Don't fuck around. Stay tunnel visioning. Stay focused. And stay winning, brother.